So what is AutoGPT? And why does everyone keep saying it's going to blow ChatGPT out of the water? Well, because it's officially the first LLM that does not need a human agent to function. So it works autonomously, hence AutoGPT. Powered by GPT-4, AutoGPT can write and execute its own code. So it automatically means that this GPT can also debug, develop, and self-improve its own code. Once again, without the need for any human agent. The implications of this are mind-blowing, and that's what we're going to be looking at in today's video. Make sure to stick around. All right, so you're probably wondering how AutoGPT works if it does not make use of a human agent. We'll talk about that in a bit, but first, let's look at all the many ways that AutoGPT will completely disrupt the way we think, create, and work. The first is the streamlining of workflows. AutoGPT has a superpower that makes it capable of automating and streamlining repetitive tasks. Now, we don't need to tell you how this can benefit people and businesses in areas of efficiency, productivity, and accuracy. With AutoGPT doing the tedious tasks, you free up valuable time to do other things that unleash your creativity or recharge your mind. Secondly, AutoGPT will supercharge your market research. AI on its own is already a beast at pouring over and interpreting vast data sets. Now, imagine a high-powered language model like AutoGPT that self-prompts. Imagine how that would permanently revolutionize the way entrepreneurs, freelancers, and influencers carry out research. AutoGPT can scour large amounts of data from diverse sources and then crunch them to provide users with business insights that are simply not the same. This will help businesses stay ahead of the competition by empowering them with the ability to make data-driven decisions. Another potential application of AutoGPT is in the area of critical thinking. We're always faced with abstract concepts and complex problems, and such issues typically take us hours and hours of thinking to crack. With AutoGPT, however, we can cut down that time significantly. The model has the ability to analyze the most intricate concepts and then produce relevant hypotheses so that we can make quality decisions in the face of uncertainty. Impossible could literally be nothing with AutoGPT enhancing our ability to think critically and create breakthroughs even in the most impossible situations. And this particular application also flows into project optimization. If you're a project manager, you're also going to find very quickly that AutoGPT makes an excellent assistant. The model will not only provide you with exceptional solutions to help you fine-tune the project, it can also identify gaps in information hierarchy or communication. And that can shoot your workflow efficiency through the roof. Of course, the application of AutoGPT in coding and programming is obvious from the get-go. The model can generate its own code, optimize syntax, and even fix bugs, which could totally revolutionize the industry. Developers and programmers will come to find an irreplaceable friend in AutoGPT. And leveraging this technology, devs and programmers will begin to create groundbreaking apps and software tools with much more ease than they could have done before. All right, so maybe you've started to think to yourself that AutoGPT is just for the nerds. Well, it's not. Even event planners will have some use for AutoGPT. For instance, you can use technology to create engaging content, identify your target audience, actually plan your event, and even promote it. This way, you can plan an excellent event and even save time and resources. Another area AutoGPT can find use is in the world of finance and trading. Whether it's stocks or crypto, the technology can put your trading game on steroids by keeping you one step ahead of the market at every point in time. This way, you stay winning and make fewer costly errors. I've also got to talk about this other super cool application of AutoGPT, and this really blew my mind. You can hook the model to platforms like Eleven Labs to make a phone call. Mind-blowing, yeah? Anyway, you're probably thinking to yourself, this is no different from what ChatGPT does. Oh, but it is. And as I already mentioned, what makes AutoGPT different is autonomy. But how exactly does that work? How does a language model carry out tasks without human-generated prompts? Lucky for us, there's no magic here. The answer is very simple, companion bots. To put it very simply, AutoGPT comprises GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 paired with a companion bot. It's this companion bot that tells GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 what to do per time. All you need to do is set a goal for AutoGPT. Then the bot will take it from there, handling all the follow-up prompts until your task is done. But what if AutoGPT hits a roadblock while trying to complete the task? What happens then? Well, the companion bot will simply generate a new set of prompts and then try to navigate the situation to determine what to do next. It's very different from ChatGPT, where you need to feed the model with prompts every single step of the way. AutoGPT doesn't need that, which is why it's super efficient, especially for multi-step projects. Now, let's get under the hood of this thing and check out its features. Obviously, there's internet connectivity, which makes it possible for the model to browse the internet for data and information. 
Secondly, AutoGPT handles both long-term and short-term memory. In other words, it can remember old conversations and use them to provide better replies in your next interaction. But it can also store and recall information temporarily, which is why it's so great at keeping track of all kinds of activities. Another interesting feature of AutoGPT is its text generation, which is powered by GPT-4. Thanks to this feature, AutoGPT can provide more complicated and accurate responses than many other chatbots can offer. The LLM can also connect to major sites and platforms, which is what makes it possible for AutoGPT to carry out routine tasks like sending emails, booking appointments, and posting on social media. Now, a few months ago, AutoGPT got a major update that took the power of the AI model to a whole new level. Thanks to this update, AutoGPT can help healthcare providers manage patient data, improve their diagnostic procedures, and even their predictive analytics. It's a game changer for patient care. The LLM now also has use in the education sector, where educators can leverage the platform to personalize learning experiences for their students, automate grading, and provide AI-powered tutoring. The entertainment industry is also not left out, as AutoGPT is disrupting the industry too with new ways to generate all kinds of creative content. Music, literature, you name it. And this opens up many new avenues for artistic expression. All right, so you're ready to just rush ahead and get yourself signed up for this mind-boggling piece of tech. Well, that might not entirely be easy. Sure, it's publicly available on GitHub, but you've got to be something of a techie because it can get really complicated. First, it has to be installed in a development environment like Docker. Then you also need to have a paid OpenAI account because that's the only way to get the API key you'll need to set it up. Even at that, AutoGPT, the latest version especially, is still in an experimental phase. So you might encounter some bugs and some of the features of the model might require a bit of a learning curve. Fortunately, some developers have come up with new apps called Agents to make AutoGPT even simpler to use. We've got a whole range of them from Agent GPT to God Mode, which provide a simple interface where you can communicate with AutoGPT from your browser page. You still need an API key from OpenAI to unlock their full capabilities, though, so keep that in mind. Now, if you're wondering, is there anything AutoGPT can't do? The answer is yes. AutoGPT is unbelievably powerful, but like any powerful tool, it also has limitations and even risks. For instance, there's a so-called Chaos GPT, which happens to be a modified version of AutoGPT. The bot was tasked with the goal of destroying humanity and establishing global dominance. But no need to worry, the bot does not seem to have any solid plans for that on ground, besides some very unflattering tweets it has shared about humans. The real danger of AutoGPT is the same one we suffer with regular language models like ChatGPT, which is that it is prone to inaccuracies. Sometimes AutoGPT can make things up and get facts wrong. So there's that, but it's not the only thing. AutoGPT might utilize both long-term and short-term memory, but once it has completed a task successfully, it promptly forgets how it carried out that task. So if you want to repeat the same task and get the same result, AutoGPT might not be able to help you there. The bot also struggles to break down complex tasks into simpler ones and can't seem to understand how different goals could overlap. This is why even though AutoGPT's main attraction is its ability to run autonomously, it's still important to keep a human in the loop. At the end of the day, it's still a generative AI model and there are still many risks associated with using such technologies. So it can't be left completely unsupervised. So did you find this video informative? Then share it with someone who'd love to watch this. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.